What's up, Sooner Nation? Welcome to the Sooner Surge. Happy Sunday night. Uh, Scotty Scheffler wins the green jacket. No surprise there. Uh, and it's Sunday. It's the week of the red-white game, the spring game, Jay. And first, uh, thank you, Marjorie Anderson, for becoming a Sooner Surge YouTube member. Appreciate yeah, that. Pre appreciate that, Marjorie. Uh, that's awesome. Happy Sunday, Stubby says. Uh yeah, looks like Stubby's uh, so hyped for football season, he's re-watching games from last year. That's when you know football season better get here soon. If you're starting to re-watch all the games again, uh, you're you're ready for the season to start. I think Stubby's ready. Stubby picked a good one to watch, too. So. That's right. And the usual 12-0 by Mess every night. Mess every night. Speak it into existence, Mess. Speak it hey, into I'm only going to say this, Jay, because – Stubby said he was watching that game. I, I, again, for the life of me, I can't tell if Dylan Gabriel was throwing that to Nick Anderson or not. Yeah, yeah we're not going to get into that right now. Hey, I, I thought maybe he was chunking out of the back of the end zone, but I'll take hey, that sooner magic. You missed the biggest news of the day. You mentioned Scotty Scheffler, but the biggest news, Oklahoma City Thunder, uh, number one seed, baby. Number one seed. Unbelievable year. Now, I love I'll say this. I'll say this. Number one seed, but there's – out of the, all the teams they could play in the first round, I hope it's the Pelicans. I don't really want to play the Lakers. Don't really want the Warriors or Kings as well. So, I'm – I wouldn't the mind the King, Kings or Pelicans. I don't want the Warriors. Man. Oh, Kings are pretty good against the Thunder, it seems like. I love this Sooner – I love this Thunder team, how young they are, and just energy that they have, man. It's yeah. great. That's right. I'm in – I you know what, Jeremy? I'm so in, like – uh, football mood. I, I'm ready for football. That I've started binge watching a show that probably everybody's watched. I've never watched it. Just What's made, that? Just made it through season one. Outer Banks, Jeremy. Outer Banks. Mm, yeah, I've heard of it. I haven't watched it. Uh, sorry to hear that, Chester. Uh, that's not any good. Sorry to hear that. Uh, Colin McPherson says, "I wish Eugene Brooks and EPL were early enrollee." Uh, Eugene Brooks is. Eugene Brooks is. That's right. Eugene Brooks is already there. So, hey, whether it's yours or your hubby's, I like good. I like good, and I like obnoxious posts all the same. So you know me. That's right. All of the spring game is at one o'clock. Someone earlier asked if it was at eleven. It's at one o'clock. Spring That's game kickoff is one o'clock, Jay. And, yeah, Eugene Brooks is on campus. EPL isn't. That's correct. One o'clock. There it is. And the weather's not looking great. I'll say it's that. like the last two or three, Jay. It's cold and rainy. It's ridiculous. Why couldn't it have been this weekend, right? Oh, absolutely. It would have been perfect. It would have been great. Now, who knows? We're still five days away. It could totally change by then. I mean, look at tomorrow. It was supposed to be a really bad storm, but now they're saying it might not be. So, Yeah, I'm going to be there. My plan is to be there. Of course, everything I do decision-wise uh, can change at any moment with our dad's situation. So, but planning on being there. Me, my wife, and the kids, actually, all going to pop out at the old spring game. That's the move, Jay. That's what kids say. You're going to pop out at the spring game. Is that the, is that the term? Yeah, I'm going to pop out at the and, spring Is that game. the Gen Z term? Yes. Portal opens oh, tomorrow. Man. Yeah, okay. Here's what I want to do. Portal opens. I've heard a lot of people, not Oklahoma fan, I'm talking national, saying how big this portal entry is going to be. Uh, well, you got taxes and you got portal all on the same day. Uh, portal, guys, how much do you think, like tomorrow, is it going to be a nonstop on Twitter, people entering the portal? I'm not just saying OU, I'm just saying all over. Is it going to be one of those boom, 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 boom? Is OU going to lose maybe three or four guys tomorrow? Jeremy, what do you think? Hey, first off, I I, I got to get this real quick. Go ahead, Jay. I, I want to get to this too, but you go first, okay? Respond I, I first. Say my opinion, Greg. Greg, God, I'm going to say this. That that's fine. I, I understand that they say that, but I've also heard I also heard the same thing about guys like McKinley last year and other guys that it doesn't matter. Oh, you it, guys, it, nobody knows. Nobody knows what the number is going to be. First off, to offer, and I, I just think. Yeah, you can say no matter what, OU is going to offer and match it. 
but nobody knows that. Nobody knows that. Yeah, I, I, I'm it. sorry. I, I'm sorry. You're exactly right, Jay. No one knows how much money a team's going to throw out there. They, it's all hearsay or what they may think, but I, I'm not. I'm not going to jump to any conclusions on, on that recruiting deal. You know me. Hey, I like was, the name hey, Portal Combat. Real quick, though, this was talked about yesterday on the live that we did about how fans, I'm not talking about insiders right now, I'm talking about fans. Fans get their hopes up for certain players, but it's because of information that they read. And I'm not saying it's bad information, Stubby. That's not what I'm saying. It's, it's good info, okay? They're insiders. That, that's what they do. I get it. But I also think it does it does raise the expectations from the fan base that they think, oh, well, they're gonna get whatever they're gonna pay whatever to get for Susie. Guess we're landing them. Right? Uh yeah, and also I, I was wrong on Farouk Jay. I said he'd be entering the portal with the fractured foot, he's not going anywhere. Uh, except I'm sure he's probably not gonna be on the field very early next year. Uh, but sounds like he's been a good leader which is great. Sooners did get the sweep in baseball. Much needed sweep, Jay Johnson. Absolutely much, well, much needed. Doesn't get much hotter than Jackson Willett right now. I mean. Correct. Hey, Colin is right. OU's going to lose some guys, but people need to stop with the, oh, culture must be, OU's losing. All. Look, they probably won't be guys except for depth guys, if even that. Is the portal open tomorrow or the 16th? I, I thought it was the 16th. You said tax day, but I thought I think it's midnight, like that's, the 16th. I mean, same as, uh, that's what I'm saying, because midnight on taxes, I mean, but. I think it's midnight tomorrow night, which is really the 16th. So, we'll see. And, yeah, we're going to lose some guys, and. If you're not going to play and you want to play, you're going to lose some guys. That's just the nature of the portal, guys. It's the nature of the portal. Are there going to be any surprise entries into the portal? I'm going to say no. There will not be surprise. There won't be any surprises to the coaching staff. They know, but there might be the fans. I would say yes. I don't know if there's going to be any like surprise to fans as far as some major guy in the portal. Like if a Javante Barnes were to enter, that would be a major surprise. Eric says Barnes better jump in there. I don't foresee anything like that happening. It's going to be guys that probably have no shot at getting on the field. Okay. Barnes, I Jeremy. think, is going to be the backup. Jeremy, right now, yeah. if you any player, in my opinion, that enters the portal tomorrow at 11 p.m., not just OU, any player, though, from any team, there's only two options that you're in the portal, right? You either A, entering because you're low on the depth chart and you're not going to play. Or B, maybe you're doing it for money. I mean, right? I mean, what, what other reason is there? You don't Correct. like it at the school? I mean, you want to move closer? I mean, what are those the main two reasons you no, think? Yeah, they're the main two reasons. Absolutely are. And uh, again, I don't want to speculate on who might enter or whatever. We'll so, see tomorrow. There'll be plenty of names. Uh, so, I, I don't understand the Barnes. Like, you know, a lot of people are very low on Barnes. Based on last year, I would I would see why. But there you go, Jay. Go ahead and comment on it since you sent me a message today, Jay. You, you say that and you turn your camera off. Wow. Uh, taking it, I, I wonder who threw that. I was going to take a drink, Jay. I didn't know who threw it. Blake says Jackson Arnold. Nobody knows. But, guys, here's an alert. Alert. Breaking news. Quarterbacks throw interceptions in practice. They do. So. Yes. Uh, Let me ask you this, guys. For as much of excitement as there is about the portal, should OU even be excited about guys to enter the portal? Because are those guys that probably were low on the depth chart somewhere else? Possibly. Uh there's I mean, no are you chance to get anybody great out of the portal in the spring. They could get a lineman, I think, that could be really, really valuable. Speaking of linemen, Bates, no chance entering the portal. He's the starter right now at University of Oklahoma. He's taking on the challenge. If you saw the SI article, I think it was SI or 247. He is embracing the challenge, okay? Great Still point, in. Hunter. Great Still, point. Uh, 
sorry I changed it. What was it? I missed it. Great point by Hunter. Can't get any SEC players. Correct. Uh, I you do want to go to Selwyn. Play, right? Selwyn, it's been a while since you've been on here, I think, and I appreciate you being on here again tonight. Uh, asked about Petaway. I've heard great things about Petaway, Jay, but we did last year too. Yeah, I don't know what y'all are talking about and why. Hunter, just explain the SEC thing as far as for Stubby. Well, the, you, the thing is, Texas and OU are SEC now. You can't take a guy there and have him play in the same year. I, I know that. You can get guys, they just won't contribute. Correct. They could not play. <clears throat> no one thinks Javante Barnes uh, was all-world last year. He barely got on the field. And he wasn't even healthy when he did. He wasn't put in a good position. I do know his freshman year when we saw him, everyone was oozing with uh, potential for that guy. <laughs> Oki Lawn wants to know if you're shirtless. Oki Lawn, this is a, uh, no, this is the puka shell with a flesh colored shirt, okay? You like it? Yeah. Hunter says not allowed to transfer in conference in spring window and to be allowed to play that following season. Correct. Correct. Hey, what's funny, Monty, is that is true. OU's got – here's what's funny. OU's guys, they lose, go to smaller schools outside of, like, DG. And the guys OU gets from the portal come from smaller schools. What's happening? What do you mean? A lot of the guys that OU gets out of the portal are – are smaller school guys. Not big-time uh, programs, Jay. I mean, I guess for the most part. I mean, you consider like Purdue a small school? It's a little bigger, but it's not OU. I'm saying they're not getting any from the Blue Bloods. Uh, great God, great question. Milos has a better year. Listen, I don't understand the McCollum to Georgia Tech. I, I, I do. He doesn't like to play for Porter Moser, Jay. No, I mean, why Georgia Tech? Why wouldn't you go to a bigger school than that if you're that good? Maybe it's maybe it's not that good. Maybe he likes that area, Jay. I mean. NFL average of speed, I'm guessing on running backs is 4-4. Four, four. Is that what it is? No, they're talking about yards per carry. Oh. Yards per carry. That's not bad. 4.5. Yeah, I don't know I mean, why Eric said that's horrible, but. Yeah, I don't either. I don't think it's that bad. Yeah. Yeah, listen, the Indiana D-line, Belidi, I think is how you say it, he's coming this week and, and going to be there and then for the spring game. I think there's a great chance they probably land him. I, I don't know as far as this year, contrib contribution-wise, I – I don't know. It's hard for me to know at this point. Jay, here's from last night. All right, Jay Johnson. If you watch last night's my live, opinion, you... and by my opinion, Hawkins is the backup. Okay. And in my opinion, I, I think it's going to be Casey Thompson. So there, there, there is that. Uh, good Jay, point, Bobby. Good point. Jay, good tell point. me who the top. Hey, who was the best three running backs in college back in college football last year? Top three backs. Uh, top. Three Drop backs it in the all. chat. Who were the top three backs? And then I want Hunter to go look up their yards per carry in all of college football. Uh, I don't think the Michigan uh, Blake Corm had that great of a year. Blake Corm was probably top three. He didn't have that gritty. I mean, you're going to find some guys from small. Mikey schools. Henderson was not not Mikey Henderson. Uh, uh, the Henderson guy from Trey. What's his name? Jay from uh, Ohio State. Yeah, I, the guy from Texas. The first guy that got injured was really good. Ollie Gordon, correct? Ollie. Yeah, Gordon. Ollie Gordon probably averaged seven a carry. Well, if Javante Barnes as backup is averaging five, uh, five yards a carry, I, I'm I'd be happy. Four four and a half a carry, I'd be happy with that. Travion Henderson, that's it, Colin. Thank you. I like Cheeks named uh, Traction Henderson. 
Uh, hey, Oki Long guy, great, great weekend for OU baseball. You put it in the chat earlier. Great weekend. Willits is hot. Another sweep. Uh, and then you got the softball team. Kelly Maxwell was great, Jay. Yeah, the softball team is grinding it through. They're not looking great, but they're, we'll see. Gordon Corman Schrader. Don't know who Schrader is. Do you? Well, yeah, and I can't. This is a good point. Iowa. Wasn't Schrader at Iowa, that? Jay? Hey, Stubby, here's my thing. I think Gavin Solchek's an NFL running back. Oh yeah, Mizzou. Yeah, that's right. Black and gold. Dubby, I, do you not think? Do you not think Gavin Solchuk's an NFL running back? I do. I think Gavin Solchuk can be in the league. I do. Yeah, you're talking about is it Ladarian Coleman? I may not yeah, be pronouncing. He loves OU. You. He loves OU. 2026. That's a ways right, off. They though. could get him committed early, like real early. Bobby says Coram, Coram Judkins, and Gore Jr. Who may not make this team? Sawchuck? Sawchuck. As we, I don't know. Fun trivia. What was Kel Gunny's number in 1991? Well, he wore 12. Uh, this is probably a trick question, so he must have wore a different number in 91. I'm going to go I'm going to go 8. I was going to go 12, but uh, Well, 12 is his normal number. Yeah, it's probably a trick question. Hey, Eric we're not going to get on this argument again about so, – so what is elite? First-round draft pick? Well, Tell we've me already what done this is. argument. We, we've already done this argument. I think four and a half yards of carry as a true freshman is really good. Mess says 11. I mean, it, it all comes down to what elite is. Because what, what's Samaj P. Ryan average at OU? Seven, maybe? What Kennedy Brooks average? Guys, I'm going to say it again. I've said it for a year and a half now on lives. Stats are overrated. What did Eric Gray average, Jay? Now, are, are you? Am, you've already heard my argument on elite. I said there's only three running backs in Oklahoma that I've seen lately that I would consider elite: Adrian Peterson, Demarco Murray. Maybe it was two. Maybe that was it. Am I missing one? Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon. Three. Adrian Peterson. DeMarco Murray, Joe Mixon, the only three running backs. Peterson in, didn't even average In six. a long time that I would consider elite running backs at Oklahoma. Peterson didn't even average six yards to carry it over I'm talking about, Tyler says, what do you mean stats are overrated? I'm saying in general, you can go look at teams that have great defensive stats or, or offensive stats. Uh, look at OU. OU's had unbelievable offensive stats year after year after year. But you know what? Sometimes when they would get to the playoff, their offense would go to pot. You know why? Because other offenses may not put up the numbers. They were better all around offense. That's what I'm trying to say. Michigan, for example, Michigan was a great all around offense. Running the ball, throwing the ball. They didn't put up the numbers though you put up. But they were, I would say, situationally and everything better. And yes, Tyler, individual stats are too. You can pad stats depending on who you play, depending on how long you play. You can't go all out stats. Yes, stats are a big deal. Analytics are a big deal. I agree. I think stats make a difference, but I'm just saying they are overrated in some aspects. And look, even DeMarco Murray was 4.9 in carry. So that six yards of carry didn't work for Adrian Peterson or DeMarco Murray. Hey, Jay, uh, I will say Kyla and someone else, oh, CE mentioned Quentin L Griffin. Quentin Griffin was a great Not elite. football player. I would not call him elite. Now, now people are going back. I didn't go back all the way. Billy Sims, obviously elite, okay? Oh, hope you get it. I see some stuff, yes. But what I'm saying is, in the last, since the Bob Stoops era, Adrian Peterson, DeMarco Murray, Joe Mixon. Hey, Jerry, does, ja does Jerry, Javante Jerry, Barnes pass the eye test uh, for you? On the eyeball test, I think his freshman year, especially – a few games, I thought he looked really good. Explosive, physical. I do think that I, I don't think it's fair to judge him off the injury he had because I do think it held him back a lot. Now, this year, if he's still struggling, then 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 yes, you're right. Hey, I test. If I see him coming out of the locker room, 
I think he passed the eye test for a running back. Well, I, I, Eric's talking about actually moving and everything, not just the way that walks and looks. Oh, I'm talking about size wise. When I say her eye test, I'm talking about how hey, they look in the uniform. They pass Tyler, the eye test. Tyler, yes. you just made my point for me. P. Ryan's numbers were better than Mixon. Who's the better running back? I, Correct. I would say Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon by far. Joe Mixon is way better than Samaj P. But Ryan. he didn't have the stats. But that's that, that's what I'm trying to say. It's not same with Dylan that. Gabriel. Jay Dylan Gabriel's numbers were unreal. I mean. His freshman year, Javante Barnes looked good. That's all I'm going to say. We'll, the rest, the, the jury's out, Eric. The jury's out on Javante Barnes. Maybe we see it. Maybe we won't see him because he'll be third or fourth string. And Jay Johnson brings up Rodney Anderson. Rodney, Rodney Anderson, Anderson was elite. Without, no, he was not elite. Rodney I Anderson, call Rodney Anderson elite. That, Jeremy, if you're calling Rodney Anderson elite, then there's been a lot of elite back running backs in Oklahoma. You're on Rodney the Anderson was elite when he was healthy, Jay. He was elite. But he, he wasn't healthy a lot, Jeremy. He was an elite running back, though. Thank you, Oki Long guy. Thank you. That's You're exactly right. Nothing matters till August 30th, period. Great God, there's no chance. That's not happening. I think a lot of people are confusing elite with great college players. When I talk elite, I talk NFL talent that that are really good NFL players. That that's the difference in my opinion. Hey, and uh, Eric, I'm going to blame the staff for even playing him in that game. Well, that's that was a I bad guess. mistake. Agreed, Eric. But I agree. horrible that's, mistake. That's but... one of the levies. That was one of Levy's dumb moves that he did. Hasn't played really at all, and they're going to throw him in there in that situation. It was weird. And, and from everything I've heard, he still wasn't healthy. I don't know why he was in there with the guy like Caleb Hicks. Some weird things last year, Jay, running back-wise. Who was yes. the other guy? Smothers that got in that game? Yeah, I, there was a lot of weird things with the, with the decision-making on who was playing last year. I did read several people have comments about uh, Seth Luttrell's offense saying it's not going to be that different at all than Jeff Levy's. Now, call-wise, it will be language-wise it is, but a lot of it's not. They did, they did, a few players did talk about the physical mindset he wants to have running the ball, but he wants explosive plays all over the place. Yeah, I, I think the running game is going to be different. I, that that to me is probably going to be the biggest thing you notice. I think personally is I think the running game is going to be it's going to look a little different. Good. Yeah, I agree. Good, great. I'm all for Good, it. Good, great, better, best. Uh, that's right. Hey, trivia tonight, guys. Check out fanstop.com. Go to the site. First off, you need to after the live go log on to your internet, whatever you have. Go check out fanstop.com. Use code SURGE. You're going to get 10% off uh, your first three months. They're great shirts. I've seen the, the May shirt. I cannot believe it's May already. The May shirt is awesome. You're going to love it. So go sign up for that. Uh, also, there's a, on our description, you can sign up for the pullover. Oh, you pullover that you can win. Just fill out the form. You'll be signed up for that. Uh, here we go. Trivia tonight. Thunder clinched number one seed in the postseason. They are the youngest team to ever clinch the number one seed what is their average age for the team this is a decimal point you cannot just say if you got to be exact on this one exact any guess jeremy go so, ahead and guess jeremy to what digit i would say 23.75 you're close and dow post and chief t are very close too it is in the 23s i'll give you that It's in the 23. Are we going to the 100th or the 10th or what? To the 10th. Not 24.5. Not 23.6. We're getting there, guys. Not 23.8. What about 7, Jay? Not 7. Someone's got to hit it for me. Someone's got to watch it for me here, Hunter. I don't know what I'm looking for, Jay. So 23.4, 23.9. Bingo, bingo, bingo. 23.9. I don't know who was first. Someone said Bobby got it. 
it was 23.9. There's Dow Post. Uh, Jeremy Calhoun, a great name that didn't live up to the hype. Great name of Jeremy, didn't live up to the hype. Everyone thought he was the next AD. Give That's, me a physical break. The correct answer is 23.9. Uh, I think Dow Post might have got it, but according to Google, it's 22.6, Jay. Well, according to Twitter today from that o Oklahoma City Thunder guy, it was 23.9. So, I'd go with the Thunder guy over Google. Uh, but uh, that's ridiculous, okay? It's ridiculous age. That Fun team that. to watch, Jay. What? Fun team to watch. Very fun team to watch. Five star butts. Oh, I remember Dante Hickson. Jay, remember Dominique Whaley? Yeah, Dominique Whaley was a lot better than people thought he was going to be. Oh, you just had some running backs that filled in that were great. Jay, do you know this answer? What? The running back that wrote the letter talking about commitment and dedication and then bolted? Hmm. What year would this have been? That's what I'm trying to think of. I don't know who it was. Someone will know it on here. Someone will know this. Me too, Lori. Me too. Someone, Me Jacob too. Gutierrez? Jacob I remember Gutierrez. that name. Might have been Jacob Goot. May have been Goot. I remember Jacob Gutierrez. Jeremy. Yeah. Remember, doc, hey, right now I'm going to do a trivia, another trivia for a point. Another trivia. A chance to win another trivia. Give me Dominique Whaley's number. I know that. Well, I'm asking the viewers, man. Jeez, Jay. That's so easy. Well, I'm asking the viewers, man. I'm giving them a chance at another point. With the They're great viewers. They're going to know right off the bat. There it is. Jay Johnson. Jay Johnson already got it. Number eight, Jay Johnson. Good job, Jay. Was Jacob Gutierrez the guy who wrote the letter? Hey, Jacob Gutierrez spent a lot of time in the weight room. I can tell you that. I know the guy Jay liked, Roy Finch. I liked Roy Finch. Number 22, I loved Roy Finch. I am not going to the OU or you baseball game. I'm too busy with track. It's getting close to conference, regional, state, all that. The little five-star that was huge in the locker room, Jay. Chief Tiber said it wasn't Jacob Gutierrez. Man, I'm, it's going to bother me all night. We got to think of this guy. Wait, does Chief Tiber know the answer to this? I think he doesn't know it, but he needs. If he hears it, he'll know it. It could be one of those deals. Moses oh, Madu, number number Good. seventeen. You know why I liked Roy Finch? Because he looked like a bowling no, ball. No, and it, it's the same reason why I liked Eric Gray. Those guys, there was. There was no waiting around to see if there was a hole. They just ran as fast as they could into the middle. I mean, they, they, they weren't very patient in that aspect, but I loved the way they ran, man. They ran freaking hard, dude. Ronaldo Works was... Oh, you are you game. When is that game? The 25th? Ronaldo Works was average, CE, don't you think? I mean, he had a good game against Bama one year. Jet he, had run, he had a weird running style. Texas kid, Jay. April 31st is that game. I'll have to look at Dude, my... I cannot think of this, man. It's bothering me. I, I, I'm trying to... So, we're looking up... What year was it? Do we even know the years? Uh, Steven Pledge. Not Steven. That was the basketball player. TJ Pledger. Hey, Jay. Wait, who was the running back that transferred to Utah? That was Pledger. Was that Pledger? TJ Pledger. Yeah, I remember Bookie. Everyone knows Bookie. Was he the weight room guy ask, you're talking about? Ask the original question again about the running back. It was Chief T-Bird. He'll have to ask it. I was try I to forget Bookie, okay? Jay, you talked about the patience. The la you talked about the, the, the lack, that the, the patience that those two guys you talked about, Roy Finch, they just hit the hole. Even if there wasn't one, Saul Chuck and Kennedy Brooks are the total opposite, and I like that. I, I like, that, but I also sometimes. I think there's something for guys that just there's something for both. I think 
Alex Ross had zero vision. In high school, he was a stud. High school, he was a stud. Absolutely. Did anyone who, think of that hey, running back, Jay? I, I, Jeremy, who's the who was the best running back you've ever seen live? I'm not talking about it. Doesn't have to be OU, but in person, high school, college. You already know my answer to this. It was Devin Thomas from Broken Arrow. Yes, he was pretty good. Committed he, he to a, OSU and then got in trouble. The dude was, was a really stud. Good. Mine, mine was uh, Rocky Kalmus was stinking good at Jinx, man. Ron says Tillman. CE says AD. I didn't see AD. I guess I saw AD live at Oklahoma. I, I'm thinking more high school, I guess. I mean, AD is a different level. Who returned the kickoff against TU for a touchdown? Huh? Running back. Hubby says letter was writing guy was Justin Johnson. I remember a Johnson. Is Marjorie correct, Chief? But was it Justin Johnson? I can Stubby vaguely. Says Keywan's the best. He's Keywan in in high school was unbelievable. The guy, what he did in high school, I mean, it's almost untouched what he was doing. Walker is at Wisconsin, Kyla. How about Nick Evers also transferring out of Wisconsin again? Yes. I think Walker is going to have a pretty good year. Justin, Justin Johnson. Johnson, it. way to go. Marjorie, Thank you, Marjorie's Marjorie hubby. hubby. Marjorie's hubby got it right. Justin Johnson. Wow. And that's what Sooner Surge Unknown and members do, dude. They step that's up like that. Sergeaholics, man. Unbelievable. Sergeaholics stepped up, Marjorie's hubby. What a great trivia question, Chief. We should have you come up with trivia. Maybe we should start spreading the trivia okay. around a certain. I did see Demond Parker against BA in the playoffs one oh, year. He was uh, he was unbelievable. Okay, I he was nice. unbelievable. You talk about a guy who didn't. You talk about a guy who didn't wait on a hold. He didn't even need. If there was a little slither, he's gone. Hey, and if you remember right, I don't know if anybody knows remembers this, but their their PA announcer at Booker Night Train Washington, Lane. Night Train Lane. When when Demond Parker got the ball, when he hit the hole. He would already say touch. I mean, he already knew it was going to be. No, touch. he would say he gone. He, I mean, it was. I mean, the, the guy was so good. Hey, it was Alex Ross was the kickoff return. Yeah. Yeah, Caden Jones is going to be able to go wherever he wants to go. Hunter says Presley's the best one he's seen, but in the next two years, that will be Caden Jones. Okay. I haven't seen enough of Caden Jones. That's also the recency bias. I mean, that's because they're the newer running backs that you haven't seen. I, I haven't seen Caden Jones in person yet. I'd like to. Yeah. I don't know oh. the answer to that Oki Lawn guy. You don't? Do you, Jay? Yeah, it's the guy. Is it Chris Brown? It could be Chris Brown. I think it was Chris Brown, Oki Lawn guy. Yeah, Dow Poet says, Dow Poet says Chris Brown. Number 29, He, you talk about a guy who was patient. He he waited for the hole to open up. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, so tomorrow's Monday. Game's on Saturday. It was nice today. I, I know it was an interception, but seeing Peyton Bowen get an interception, seeing Peyton Bowen, just haven't heard a whole lot about Peyton Bowen. Uh, I'm excited to see him out there and where he's going to be playing. I think that's probably one of the biggest things is – where some of these guys are going to be lining up a lot. And I know it's just a spring game. You're playing each other. but And you're not going to be able to tell a whole lot on who the lineups are going to be. But I will. it will be nice to see some hitting and some guys playing out there in positions. Yeah, Prentice Elliott is a blast from the past. That guy was fun to watch. Never panned out, really. Hey, Jay, uh, I feel like, yeah, a notepad at the spring game would come in handy to make some notes of where these guys are lining up. Yeah, I agree. Hey, Stubby, I, I understand there was a time, time when there are five-star running backs lining up. But listen, I don't think Caleb Hicks uh, is just some run-of-the-mill running back. I think they got some dudes. Taylor Tatum's a five-star, so they got guys. Uh, Eric, hey, wait, 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 I wait. didn't see who it was. Go ahead. I didn't see who threw the pick. Some I, people no, on Twitter said it. 
some people on Twitter said claimed it was Jackson on that threw the pick. But guess what I say to that? Who cares? Yeah, I agree. But I, I would love for Hunter to look this up if he can. But going back to Stubby, name the name five star running backs that went to Oklahoma. Go. There's only been like two or three, Jay. So I, I, that's what I'm saying. Lining up to go to Oklahoma. How many did Oklahoma sign that are five star? AD Since was Bob, five star. No, Since Bob Stoops arrived in 1999, how many were five stars? I would say five tops. Are you saying Keith Ford? Is that what I'm hearing? He was not a five star. Ke uh, Jay, Calhoun was a five star. Yeah, and he didn't pan out. But I'm saying AD. Calhoun, uh, take him this year. Mixon, Calhoun. I did not. Keith Ford, a five star. I did not think that. If that's true, that's that's another miss. I mean, wow, he was a five star. Hunter, are you verifying that? Good point, Stubby. That's a good one, man. Eric, Eric, what I mean by when I say who cares, I don't know what situation they were on that play. I don't know if five running like, backs, Hunter says. To five. me, it means something, Jay. Six with Tatum. Okay, so the five are Peterson, Ford, Calhoun, Mixon, Tatum. There's one more I'm missing. So they haven't been stacking up five stars. There's one more I'm missing. Ford was okay at A&M. He was nothing special. Who was the other OU running back that transferred to AM? Williams. Something Williams. I thought. Oh, DeMarco Murray, the other five star. And I, I think what Stubby's saying, and I get it now when you look at this, when you look at the timing of it, they had Murray, AD, Calhoun, and Ford. Those were all similar, I mean, similar years. So in those maybe that time frame, they had quite a bit. I mean, there was a while before they became QBU. A lot of people were saying R RBU. I mean, so I understand that. But I do think you look at that, uh, out of that list so far, three panned out. Hey, Jay. And, and what I mean, uh, oh, it was Brandon Williams, Bobby. Yeah, Bobby, you got it. Not, not, the, not the Kansas City running back. Correct. That's Damian Williams. Hey, uh, listen. When I say who cares on the interception, it's practice. You you make mistakes at practice. That's when they'll happen. Yeah, you're talking about Trey Sermon. Trey Sermon. And I absolutely loved Trey Sermon. Do they have a Trey Sermon this year? That dude was powerful. Yeah, good he was point, my man. favorite guy that year. He was a cornerback. Good point. Uh, I'm trying to watch LSU Feast week one. Uh, not sure. Uh, yeah, I agree. Unless Xavier plays, we probably don't have a Trey Sermon. Yeah, you play like you practice. So, it, hey, whoever threw the pick, if they gave half effort, then then I would have cared. The fact that someone made a mistake, come on, guys. That that highlight video was shown to, to highlight uh, the interception by uh, Peyton Bowen. It wasn't to sit there and say, I wonder yeah, who, threw I agree. who threw it. Oh, we have a quarterback controversy. If Arnold threw I that, agree. come off it. Hey, Stubby. I, I, I love Gerald Moore. Stubby, I see your point on NFL caliber running back. What I'm saying is I don't think anybody on here can say that Gavin Sawchuk is not an NFL running back yet. Nobody knows. I I think Gavin Sawchuk could be an NFL running back, personally. Now, is he an AD? I don't think so. Is he a Joe Mixon, DeMarco Murray? I, I don't think so. I, I still think he's young, though, so who knows. But if you're saying we don't have that guy – but there's not many of those guys. Hey, Gerald Moore was great, number seven. And Bobby, uh, not Bobby, Monty, I think that Xavier Robinson could be. Uh, I would definitely love to see Hicks get some carry Selwyn, I agree. Uh, Eric, I think the wide receiver position is probably, if not the best position group, the second best, I think it's stacked. 
It is absolutely stacked, Eric. Wide receiver? Yes. And I agree with Selwyn. I'd like to see Hicks get some, too. James Allen from Winniewood. He played eight-man football in high school. Yep. Guys, Marcus and also, Dupree was just, unreal. Just so you know, Peyton Bowen's going to pick up, pick off a lot of great quarterbacks in his career. So, this yes. is a good question, Cracker Mac. How many teams have a starting NFL caliber running back? A lot of teams might have a starter. How many have a first round draft pick running back? Two, three. Jay, Max. Max. guess what? Guess what, Jay? What? Running backs in the NFL are a dime a dozen. Seventh round picks all the time. It's about the line more than the running back, okay? There are so many run-of-the-mill uh, seventh-round picks who become just great running backs in the league. They weren't great in college at all. That's a fact, Jay. I think we could lose a couple receivers. I agree. And I agree, Chief. That's what I was saying. There's no first-round running back. They're rarely out there. No one drafts. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, because you watch NFL too, guys. Galpo says when the game changed, the running back lost value. Is it more important now to have great wide receivers or a great running back? What's more important, to have a five-star running back or a five-star receiver? Or is it? Is it matter? I know people five star are going line. You need both. You need I would both. go receivers, but it's a five star line. If you have linemen that are five stars across the board, it doesn't really matter on the skill positions if they're four or five. They're gonna they're gonna be able to get uh, a lot of yards. And Stubby agrees with you. Never meant to make it a debate about running backs when it's the trenches that matters. Trenches yeah. win championships. Yeah. So when Gibson's confidence seems to be out of the roof, uh, and speaking of trophies here. Sooner Legend said, name it the quarterback trophy. They do have a quarterback trophy, but it does seem like the Heisman is pretty much all it is. Recently, that's kind of what it's been. OU's five-star receiver luck has not been good. You're right, Ron. You're right. Tyler, that's true. It does depend on the uh, – Yeah, you're talking about Saquon Barkley, Jet. Yeah. And honestly – Guys in the fifth round has had as good of careers. He's been hurt. Now, I never saw Barry Sanders in person, but had I seen Barry Sanders in person, it probably would have been him. There won't be another Barry Sanders. No, just go watch his highlight tape. You won't see another one like him. You, you, you will not see another highlight tape like him. Just like I don't think you'll see another AD. I mean, the – the stuff he did in the NFL, too, I mean, just. The God. combination of speed and power that AD had is, is pretty hey, rare. Hey, AD was the closest thing ever that you're going to get to Bo Jackson. Absolutely. Running back-wise. Am I wrong? Oh, I agree, and I love my Gattis. Herschel Walker was mm, good, too. Ballet classes. Yeah, Jonathan Brooks is the first projected running back at 56 to Dallas. You know what I do every year during the draft, Jay? Every year. I watch Draft Day the night before. Oh, Draft Day's a great movie. Hey, Monty, real quick. I, I got to update this. So, so listen. Went and kidnapped my dad uh, from the skilled nursing place today. Not really kidnapped, but checked him awesome. out of there. Took him to church with us. He hasn't been to a church in five months, guys. Uh, it was great. People got to see him. He was encouraged. Took him to his house. Uh, all that stuff. He's exhausted. He's back at the skilled nursing place. But it was an all-around good day of him being able to get out. It, it was tough. It was hard. But I uh, did it. So thanks for the prayers. Yeah, appreciate that, Monty. Hey, Stubby, great stuff tonight, man. Appreciate you. T. Moses, thanks so much. Means a lot. Big time. Appreciate, appreciate that. that. Thanks, T. Appreciate Moses. That. Thanks, Greg. Yeah, team, I appreciate that as well. Uh, yeah, good day, Germ. Sounds like a good day. Hey, T. Moses was saying Henry, Derrick Henry. Uh, Derrick Henry's elite. I mean, uh, no, I'm saying you probably won't see many Derrick Henrys either. He's on 80s level. Yes. I wish Dallas would go get him. And it's too late. You ever seen Draft Day, Jay? Love Draft Day. Might be. It's up in my top, probably top five of sport movies. 
It's one of the top. Oh, absolutely. But I like all sports movies, so anything maybe, top, with Kevin maybe Costner. top 10. Top 10, not top 5. Anything with Kevin Costner, Jay. Hey, listen. We will be putting out some videos this week throughout the days about, oh, I love Moneyball, too. And God Moneyball. is good God is good all the time. Uh, Jay, we got some videos coming out this week, getting closer to spring ball. Uh, we'll make sure we let you guys know about Saturday, maybe uh, where we'll be sitting and maybe we can uh, meet up or whatever. But uh, weather's going to be chilly, it looks like, with a chance of thunderstorms. Cannot wait for Saturday. It's going to be fun. If we can talk about all this stuff before, when there's nothing to talk about, man, it's going to be a fun uh, week after the spring game and then summer as we lead into the SEC. Cannot wait. Appreciate everyone being on here. We'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks for the super, team moses uh, Thanks yes. for Marjorie Anderson and Hubby for joining the Sooner Surge Unlimited. And thanks to you all for being great followers of our channel. We appreciate it. Thunder up. Number one seed. First time since 2012. It's going to be rocking uh, at Paycom. Cannot wait. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Boomer. Tuner.